What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this stadium dosage. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. And you see what happens when you do ask? You shall receive. <laughs> As I'm going to talk about today, baby. Woo! Great day to be a consumer of stadium. All right. With that being said, hey, y'all. Um, I got the logo. I got the Stadia Dosis logo up there because a lot of people told me that Stadia had nothing to offer. You know what I'm saying? And then that AMA, that infamous AMA came out where everybody blew their gasket before they even touched the product. This thing is horrible. It's not going to be for anybody. There's no way that anybody can enjoy this. You know, it'll be easier to pull teeth out of a turtle to enjoy Stadia, right? Then people got it in their hands and they started playing it. And they were like, oh, this thing is great. <laughs> it is the best cloud performing thing out here. However, who's going to want this thing? Who's going to want it? You know what I'm saying? Because the games are too expensive and I don't want to play them anymore. And then things started to happen where games got cheaper. It became more accessible, more buddy passes coming out. And they got people scrambling. They're scrambling at the, at the masses to try to find more and more excuses to try to put this thing down. But this community is showing that they are very active. They're going to be very vocal. And in response, Stadia has been very rapid in their response. And they've done it again yet today, right before Christmas. All right. But let's talk about it here, y'all. Because, again, uh, we, we were told here at Stadia Doses that there was no reason to have this. Like, maybe in a few months that I would probably have, like, 12 episodes max and then I'd have to close up shop. I had somebody else tell me, hey, uh, you're, you're killing your content with the Stadia Doses. Stop doing it, even though I've gone up 6%. My highest bump in my two-year history and all my other metrics are up. You know what I'm saying? But... I, I hate to play console war, but they're an Xbox fan. And Xbox people ain't used to good metrics. <laughs> it's Aaron Greenberg saying, our metrics show us that people don't care about commercials anymore. You know what I'm saying? But that's here nor there. That's another video. But with that being said, let's talk about it, y'all. Let's go from where we were just a short time ago to where we're at now. It was a rocky start. I mean, there were a lot of people spreading falsehoods, a lot of bloviating, but there was that bad AMA. You know what I'm saying? Then the Rocky delivery to gamers. You know what I'm saying? Some people didn't get their stuff on launch day. Then you had the very expensive and very sparse lineup at launch. All right. And then you had even the bad accessories. You know, you know like when, when, when you thought it couldn't get any lower, get any worse, um, they had accessories that messed up their own devices, right? The, the original claw had to be called back because of that. But then the community showed that they will be very vocal on this despite it being early access they were not going to use it as an excuse they became a beacon of light for other communities that make excuses for their fail catch my drift follow me that make excuses for their fail and they said you need to deliver and you need to deliver us now and deliver for us now rather excuse me and here's what's happened since then we've got more buddy passes out there to expose more people to the performance the excellent performance of stadia we got better games out there. You know what I'm saying? We got discounted games. Now the game prices are, are comparable to, to their competitors, right? We got better responses to the community. The computer the community was completely at all at the responses within the last week or so. Because prior to that, they went zero dark 30. But now we found out they went zero dark 30 because they were doing the heavy lifting and getting the work done. You know what I'm saying? Then also we got exclusive features released. You know what I'm saying? We got the, the stream connect thing that's nowhere. And we also got achievements before the almighty switch. The almighty switch don't even have achievements yet. And then we got exclusive games and exclusive content. We got exclusive content like Destiny the Complete Edition. That is, you know, it's, it's a free edition that's nowhere else. You're not going to get it free anywhere else if you can get it anywhere else at all. It's exclusive to Stadia. Free. And you got Darksiders Genesis that is on no other console but Stadia at the time of this recording. It's going to be on no console in 2019. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You have all that happening, mind you, within within a little bit over a month during early access. And you get, as far as the game content is concerned, you get most of the the most talked about, most of the uh, most action-packed games within the 12-month rolling calendar period. All on the system, now at reasonable prices, okay? All within a month and month and a half, okay? But that's not the the tip of the iceberg, baby, because I want to show you this. Look at this. Now you have, on Christmas Eve, Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the best-selling games of all time this generation, and Rage 2 at discounted prices. Red Dead Redemption 2, $47.99, and Rage 2 at $19.80. And why is this a big deal? Because it was just less than two days ago from this recording, from this release of these new discounted prices that we here at the Stadia Dosage, along with the community members, said, hey, look, Y'all are doing a lot of great things, but come on, let's close out 2019 with a bang. To make that lineup complete and more accessible of the biggest action-packed games within the 12-month rolling calendar. To make that complete. To go well with my Borderlands 3. You know what I'm saying? My Destiny. And all the other great games that I got. My Ghost Week on Breakpoint. With the Stream Connect. You can't get anywhere else. To do all that. Just discount rage. That's all we was asking for was rage. And they not only came through with rage, but they came through with Red Dead Redemption 2 on Christmas Eve. Ain't nobody else doing that. <laughs> doing it like that. That was in response to the community. And it, it just shows me, and it shows all of us, that the team did the hard work. Instead of running their mouths and tippity topping on Twitter, and giving empty promises on Twitter 24 seven, they did the hard work to deliver to the community. And they truly care about the community, they get it. And I wanna say personally, thank you to Mr. Phil Harrison. Despite the inaccurate depiction that people have tried to pin to you in regards to bad launches of the Xbox One and bad launches to the PlayStation 3, like you were the centrifuge <laughs> of those bad launches when people, all they got to do in order to discover the truth is listen to Podcast Unfilter, the interview that uh, you did with um, Ryan McCaffrey to discover the truth and what role you didn't play in those launches. They don't want to do that. They want to bloviate and, fa- and spread falsehoods. I get it. I like the platform and I got to hear this garbage all the time. But despite all that, you along with the team, put your head down, barrel down in the work, and deliver. And I'm telling you, there's still a lot more work to do, Mr. Phil Harrison. But if you keep on this path, if you keep doing what you've been showing us over the last few weeks, in 2020, sky's the limit, baby. This platform will definitely skyrocket. And I want to thank you personally for listening to us and giving us the things that we've asked for and doing it rapidly, man. This is like one of the best communities I've ever been part of in gaming. Not only are the gamers real and authentic and they will hold their people's feet to the fire, but the execs at the top understand how important it is to deliver and they go out there and they respond rapidly and get things done. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because like I say, who cares what I think, but if you did enjoy the content, you can catch a lot more per the links below, all right? And I don't want to hold y'all too long. I want you to go out there, go get these damn deals and enjoy them. Give out them buddy passes so people know the truth. And with that said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.